Let's jump back in. The replay currently being recorded will be reset. Recording will restart once the save data has been loaded. Do you want to proceed? Yes. Okay, here we are. So we're grinding for... We already have 84 hearts. Let's go back. We can, we can already afford the holy water. Want to buy holy water? 50 hearts? Yes. Why is it... What? Oh, I was looking at E for energy. I'm guessing E stands for energy. We only have 20 hearts. I see. Now, I wonder once you have holy water, do you have, like, unlimited holy water? Because, or maybe when you get, like, there, I don't see a, a, um, a sub-weapon counter. Unless, um, unless maybe once you get a sub weapon, that's when the counter appears. That could be it. What a horrible night to have a curse. I still only needed one hit with my Thorn Whip. That's pretty cool. Oh, but on the Wolf I needed two hits. Yeah, they're giving less hearts at night. A lot less hearts. For that, I might as well return to the city, or the town here, and uh, try to farm these ghouls. What are we up to? 42. What was that? 46? putting in work. Just waiting till daytime now so we can buy some holy water. And after that, we'll start to explore the rest of the game world. Try to see if we can make it to the next town.
time is it? What is that, 5.30 in the morning? There we go. The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. Want to buy holy water? Yes. Alright, so now how does this work? Do I literally only have one holy water? Or do I have basically unlimited holy water? Oh, actually, hold on. Save. Yes. Okay. Manual. Does it tell me how... Talk to townspeople. See what happens. I bought holy water. Okay, I don't see anything going down. So I guess I have infinite? Interesting. So we have infinite holy waters. That sounds kind of broken to me. Oh, but they may not be as strong as holy water was in the original Castlevania. Let's see if we can make it to the next town. Skiddly boop. Welcome back, creepy. Oh. Oh, no. What? Oh, my gosh. Oh! Redeems. Hello, I'm new to stream. I got food. Well, welcome to the stream again for the very first time, creepy. What did you get to eat? Why is there a ladder down? Because all you're doing is just coming back here, but you're not- there's nothing over there. Oh! Oh no. What a horrible night to have a curse. What a horrible night indeed.
You started cooking chili this morning. Ah. It was done about eight. Nice. So I can try to jump, or I can take the ladder down. Or not ladder, stairs. I'll go for the stairs. Might be safer down here. Hold on. Is there anything behind the stairs? No. Guess not. So it looks like we made it to a new town. Twenty-seven. Thirty-five. Okay, so time passes regardless of where and then I move the character. I think we're just gonna sit here until uh dawn comes. I don't want another bat to appear to nowhere and knock me backwards into the water. You make actual chili, not tomato paste chili. Hmm. we have probably like another three minutes to wait until dawn. We'll chance it. Yeah, it looks like a shop there. The church here. Good. The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. No merchant? An empty shop. I wonder which town this is. Maybe I have to exit the town and then come back to reset the NPCs. Let's try that. Oh, that sounded like a dungeon right there. You've got a friend waiting for you in the town of Algeba. Alright, this is a new note. Dracula's Riddle are in Berkeley Mansion. Hmm. Hmm. 
and Veros and Berkeley Mansion. Clues to Dracula's Riddle are in the town of Alba. I'm gonna think that every town probably has clues to Dracula's Riddle. Charlie, what's going on here? You look pale, my son. You must rest in the church. I intend to. Rest here for a while. Seeing if there are any secrets in the church. Laurels in your soup enhances its aroma. a weird thing to say. Marls in your soup enhances its aroma. Another empty shop. Well, wait. A rib can shield you from evil. Hmm. I wonder if they mean Dracula's rib. Hmm. Okay. Turn right for Dubai's path. Oh, you can read the signs. I tried last time, but I couldn't read it. But last time I tried to read the sign at night. Turn right for Dubai's path, left for the Veros Woods. So I think we just came from Veros Woods. Let's go back. Because over to our left, that sounds like a dungeon. I don't want to go into a dungeon. I mean, this kind of sounds like a dungeon too, but... again. Oh my gosh. This definitely sounds like a track from OutRun. It sounds good. I like the music. Wait, are you a mod? Yes, you are a mod. You have... What is that up there? Yes, you have been here quite long. You've always been helpful. And so I decided to make you a mod. If you don't want to, that's cool. I understand. Oh! I didn't know they could do that.
Oh, that was so close. The controls definitely feel more responsive in Castlevania 2 than in Castlevania 1. But I feel like I'm going to need the extra mobility. Oh, what a horrible night to have a curse. When did you become a mod? At the end of last night's stream. Actually, just after last night's stream. Is when I made the change. One thirty. Thorn whip. Kirby says, I mean, I don't mind. Let's me mash the bots easier. I yes, smash the bots when I am not here, creepy. Bots are like Highlander. There can be only one, the creepy one. Yes. So there was a road sign here. I'm guessing this is the town of Veros then. If we had to cross through Veros Woods. And the person in that town said there's someone has a clue for you in Veros. I'm going to have to try reading the signs again. Where's that road sign at? There it is. Of course, it's in the middle of the water. I think I'll farm these ghouls till dawn, hit the church to heal, and then go down and read that sign. This, is, this feels a bit more like an RPG, whereas Castlevania 1 was more like a true platformer. Just because you can go in an inn, well not an inn, in this case it's a church, but you can basically go rest and, and heal up. In Castlevania 1 you can do that. You can save up currency, which are hearts in this game, uh, to buy gear, like a, an upgraded whip, and in this case holy water, and also we've purchased a white orb of some sort which we were told to buy, but I have no idea what it does. But I'm guessing that maybe the white orb is one of the 13 items we need to somehow piece Dracula's body back together. The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. I wonder if we get to keep the heart half. Nope, we lose the heart. Okay, so I can't read that sign. Let's heal up at the church. There we go. A what? A cricket trader is offering bum deals in this town. I don't know who that is. Thirteen clues will solve Dracula's riddle. I'm guessing the thirteen clues are all like key items you have to obtain, so I guess the, the orb is one of them. You have- wait! 
right. We have a friend in the town of Aldra. Go and see ya. I, I did that already. I can't read it! Oh, you have to stand, like, to the side of it. You can't stand in the center of it, and then you hit the, the whip button. Turn right for the Jova Woods, left for Belasco Marsh. So it has to be just to the left of the sign. Okay. Well, let's try going to the left. Once you're done eating, you'll hop on the PC. Yeah, I'm done with that. You can tell that you're supposed to go there at a later point in time. Not right now. It's daytime and those enemies are spitting fireballs, moving fast, and take more than one hit to die. The game really doesn't want you to go that way. Not yet. That it has to be like the way to Dracula's castle. Let's go back to where he came from. Oh! I forgot what the sign said now. I feel like I need to write down what the sign say so I know where to go when they say, like, you need to go here and buy this item. And I'm like, I have no idea where that is. Okay. All right, let me write this down too. Okay, so whatever town we're in now, it doesn't tell us what town we start off in. I'm just going to write Starter Town. Okay, so we can go right for the Jova Woods. Or we can go left for Belasco Marsh. Okay. Ah, hello! Hello, D-Bomb Gaming. Welcome, welcome. D-Bomb Gaming has peacefully raided and graciously hosted this stream. Thank you for the raid and the host, D-Bomb. I hope you are doing well. And Vegeta's here as well. Hi, Orphe. Hello, Vegeta. How are you doing? Let me give a couple of shout-outs. Shout out to D-Bomb Gaming, last casting Final Fantasy IV, The After Years. Ooh, I'm guessing that's either from the PlayStation Portable or the PlayStation Vita, since the Vita is backwards compatible, or the PC. I don't know of that version ever coming to PC, but it could have. Peacefully. Yes. Hello, D-Bomb, welcome. You're good, Vegeta? That's good, I'm glad. Shout out to Vegeta. Last casting Dragon Ball Z. Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Another streamer friend of ours to follow, should you wish. D-Bomb says... I hold with you a large broadsword to wage war. Dang it. Well, that's good. Walk softly, but carry a big sword, to paraphrase. Gosh dang it, Nappa. Also, oh hi, Orfeo. Thanks for the shout out. Of course, of course. Oh, you're gaming on PC. Nice, nice. Oh, it's Talk Softly? Hmm. Could be. 
But welcome, Raiders, welcome. I am Orfeo. Did I write that down? I did write that down. And um, I stream a bit, a uh, little something different each day. Tuesdays, I dedicate to retro games. And tonight's retro game, until we beat it, is Castlevania II Simon's Quest from Konami. And we haven't gotten very far. We just did some grinding. We got some hearts. We upgraded our Leather Whip to a Thorn Whip, which is quite a bit more powerful. Um, we purchased Holy Water. And it seems in this game you have unlimited Holy Water once you buy it, which is pretty cool. Um, in Castlevania 1, having unlimited Holy Water would be absolutely broken. But in Castlevania 2, it doesn't seem to be quite as strong. Horrible night to have a curse. Oh. Pause for a moment. Actually, let's not pause that way. Oh yeah, we can pause that way. Talk softly and carry a big stick. Yeah, that's what I said to paraphrase. <laughs> this game sucks, AVGN. Do love me some Simon's Quest. Have you beaten Simon's Quest? I have never played Final Fantasy IV or The After Years. I know The After Years is, according to its its title, takes place after Final Fantasy IV. I have been trying to play through all the Final Fantasies in roughly order. So, on this channel for Thursdays, Thursdays I dedicate to role-playing games. Uh, we played through the original Final Fantasy, and uh, that was really awesome. And I want to say it was about two weeks or two streams, rather, before we beat uh, Final Fantasy 1, uh, the trailer dropped for Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. And I was, like, super hyped. I'm like, oh, that's cool. We're actually in the middle of playing Final Fantasy 1. And this is supposed to be, like, a what-if prequel to Final Fantasy 1. So I put off playing the rest of the Final Fantasy games until it came out, and that's where we're currently playing through on Thursdays. And I think we're almost halfway through that game. It's been a bit of a disappointment compared to what I was hoping for after beating Final Fantasy 1, but we're still going to get through it and push along to our next challenge. Uh, eventually, though, I will be going through the other Final Fantasies I have not beaten, and there's many I have not beaten. I've only beaten, well, now I've only beaten 1, 5, 7, 8, and 9, and that's it. So there's still a lot to go. Vegeta says, I played FF4 almost to the end, and then I lost my save and never went back to it. Yeah, losing your saves can be hard. That hurts. That really hurts. Um, I was playing through Fantasy Star 3, Generations of Doom. And uh, I don't know how far through I get, or I got. I think it was maybe a quarter to a third of the way through. And I was playing that off of, um, I think it's Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection for the PlayStation 3. And I was enjoying it. I beat the original Fantasy Star that way. I beat Fantasy Star 2. I was going through Fantasy Star 3. And that's when my PlayStation 3 crashed. And it wasn't my hard drive that crashed. It was something else within the system preventing it from turning on. And uh, it was like an upgraded hard drive. I upgraded it from the standard 60 gigs to, I think it was 120 gigs. And so I took out the, the 120, I put in the 60, and I sent it back to Sony. They fixed it, sent it back. And when I put my 120 gig in the new PS3, it said, okay, well, we're going to have to format this hard drive because uh, it's like a different hard drive that you're installing into your PS3, and so it's going to erase all the data. And so I just I had to accept it. It wiped everything, and so I lost my save. And to this day, I haven't gone back. Uh, one day, I would like to return and beat Fantasy Star 3 and Fantasy Star 4, but that's probably not going to happen anytime too soon. But yeah, that stuff like that hurts. T-Bomb says multiple times. Yeah, that does look awesome. Aww. 
Oh, D-bomb, you've what? What's multiple times? Kimpy says, which one was the one with Squall? That's the only one I beat more than once. Yeah, that was Final Fantasy VIII. Can I just do a single emote reaction for what FF is coming next? You can try. D-Bomb says, oh yeah, I love Fantasy Star 3. Yeah, I thought it was cool how it seemed like in Fantasy Star 3, um, just coming off Fantasy Star 2, it seemed like you were playing as the kids from the heroes of Fantasy Star 2 because it seemed like there was, there was a melding of, uh, of characters that happened to produce the offspring or to produce the characters in Fantasy Star 3, and I was really enjoying that. But uh, yeah, one day I will go back. He says, the gun sword, by the way, was a real thing. Just not the same as the thing that was in FF8. That's cool. Be oh, you beat Simon's Quest multiple times. I got you, I got you. This is my first playthrough. Um, last Tuesday, we kind of took a little break from Castlevania, and we went to play Hexic HD, which is a puzzle game. And uh, the week before that, we played through the original Castlevania on this channel. I uploaded the, uh, the gameplay to uh, YouTube, to the YouTube channel. And um, it was an experience. Um, I really enjoyed the game. I really liked the music. I'm really liking the music of this game. Uh, solid gameplay, good challenge. And then the last two levels and the last two bosses of the last two levels were hard. Um, especially Dracula and Death were the last two bosses. Um, and each was hard in its own unique way, which I, I enjoyed. Like, Death was hard in that you had to be very calculated, I felt, when you fought against death. Um, the way he he sent the, the sickles at you, they were very hard to dodge, but you could predict where they were going to go. They bounced around the environment, but they bounced in a predictable pattern. And so you just had to try to not be there or to destroy them before they reached you. Um, so that was pretty cool. Uh, Dracula was a whole different ball of wax. Dracula, both forms of Dracula were kind of tough. Um, thankfully, I had people here in chat to help me defeat Dracula in his second form. But Dracula in his first form, that, was, that wasn't that was just strategy. That also required a bit of luck. And um, I think whenever a boss fight requires a bit of luck and not just skill... It sort of makes it aggravating because it, you feel a little robbed if when you die, but at the same time it feels rewarding because no matter how good you get at the game, um, there's always going to be that sort of element of chance to to still challenge you in the game, and I like that. Now I know there are some speedrunners uh, who have beaten it really quickly, like in less than I think 10 minutes. Um, but it's still really cool to uh, to get to have played the original Castlevania and to have experienced that adventure and have it gotten to experience the, that challenge. And uh, yeah, I really love retro games and I love RPGs. I love a lot of different games. And so it's it's kind of cool to be able to stream and to share that passion. FF2. FF2 is going to come soon. So after Stranger of Paradise, I never like playing games in a series back to back. I always worry that I'm going to burn out. Um, and so once we get through Stranger of Paradise, we're going to move on to what is it? Oh yes, Demon Souls for the PlayStation Three. So that's going to be interesting. Um, I've already decided my class. I will be a magician. And uh, we're going to see how that goes. But then after Demon Souls, we're going to come back to Final Fantasy with Final Fantasy 2. So that's going to be fun. But just as I love FF2. <laughs> Kirby says, it was a, a cutlass with an inch long gun barrel coming off the handle and a lever trigger where your thumb would go on the sword grip. Hmm had absolutely no accuracy. Oh, so it's kind of like a, I guess like a shotgun, almost? 
not a shotgun is in like it shot a spray, but a shotgun is in like it wasn't designed to be accurate. I guess. Debum says I have tried repeatedly to even like FF2, but dear merciful Lord in Piccolo, that game is terrible. Aw. FF1 and 2 are Vegeta's favorite FF games. Oh. And yeah, Death and Dracula are titanic pains in the butt. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. You probably, if you hit, hit up the YouTube videos, you'll probably see me raging a little bit. Like, this isn't fair. These damages are unavoidable on Dracula. But he was tough. Like, he was really tough. It was still fun, though. Demon Souls. Yes, Demon Souls is going to be something else. There are good speedrunning strats for both, but the first requires you to survive long enough through the level to spam holy water, and the second requires some precise setup. Yeah, just after we beat um, the original Castlevania on stream, someone in the channel was like, hey, I know this like nine-minute speedrun of the original Castlevania. You want to check it out? I'm like, all right. So we cut stream, relaunched with the, uh, the speedrun, and we watched it. I think it was like nine minutes and something seconds, and uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, I spent longer on just one of the boss battles, whether it was Death or Dracula, than this person spent playing the entire game. And uh, it was pretty cool to watch. I mean, one of the great things about old school video games is that they, they're they designed around patterns, much more so than modern games. And if the player can learn that pattern and master that pattern, then the game becomes effortless. It's almost like a Zen thing. And uh, it's really cool to watch. Vegeta says, Orphea, I love Demon Souls. I've played it a million times. Oh, then maybe if you're in the channel when that happens, you can give me some tips. I do take back seating in my games. Um, the only thing I ask is just not to spoil story elements. So like, if I'm going to bump into a boss, don't tell me I'm going to bump into a boss. But once I bumped into the boss, you're welcome to give me like strategy tips and stuff. That's fine. Debum says, I forget who has it now. It used to be K-Mac. The WR, I mean. Hmm. Oh, the world record. I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, the person who showed me like the nine minute uh, world record Castlevania one stream on YouTube, they said that he had since lost the world record. But um, it was cool to see him play through it regardless. Like he didn't even know he had it until like he actually beat Dracula because he was like, oh, this I could have done this better. Uh, uh, this this was like a slow like event. This isn't going to be the run. Ah, uh, well, we're sort of just going to play it through and finish it. And then he kills Dracula and is like, wait, wait, oh my gosh, we did it. World record. Ah, and he starts going crazy. It's great. But um, I love that enthusiasm for games. But yeah, he's he's no longer the world record holder. But it was cool, though. For a brief moment in time, he held the world record. Creepy says, Demon Souls makes it obvious you're about to fight a boss. Yeah, I think you walk, don't you walk through like a, a smoky archway? I've watched some other Souls streamers, and I know that happens in Dark Souls. I'm guessing the same thing happens in Demon Souls. But just says, no, I'm going to let you suffer like I did my first playthrough. Just kidding, I'll give some tips, lol. Okay. Yeah, like I said, just I prefer being surprised by story elements, but um, outside of story, I'm I'm fully open to like backseating. Like, hey, don't there like a there's a, an invisible wall here that you can go through. Or if you just go around this corner, there's a cool weapon, or there's a hidden item. Like, that I love. Like, I don't use strategy guides, I don't want to use strategy guides, but if there's people in stream that will, like, give me hints on things, that's awesome. I'll take it. Debum says, it's one of the most highly contentious records in speedrunning. Ooh, why is that? Why is it contentious? Do, like, multiple people have the same time, and it's, like, a question of who did it first? Vegeta says, yeah, they're called fog gates. Yes, that lead to the bosses. Debum says, I feel that I once had four world records. I now have one. Ooh, what's the one?
I'm guessing that red stuff is like lava, right? Like that'll kill me. This place is nice. I have none, lol. Aw. I held two world records at one point. I might still have them. But, like, no one plays the games anymore, and the server shut down, so it's not really a bunch of a bragging point. <laughs> <sighs> Creepy says, I once held a world record. Then someone completed a certain hill climb faster than I did. Oh. Do you mean, oh, a video game record, Creepy? Or do you mean, like, a, a real record? Like, well, that sounds like I'm... I'm sliding people who have video game records, but... You mean like a real life record as opposed to a video game record? Vegeta says, I used to have a world record lap time in one of the Aereo gauge maps, but it was taken and I'll never beat the time, lol. Oh, Aereo gauge. Sounds like a racing game. D-Bomb says, an RPG Maker XP game called Millennium 3 Cry Wolf. Hmm. RPG Maker things are cool. I once got RPG Maker, I think it was for the original Sony PlayStation, and I tried to make my own game, and I did, but I won't ever do that again. It gave me a, a whole new appreciation of how hard it is to make a game, and that's not even using code. That's using, like, created assets that are just sitting there, and all you have to do is just tie stuff together. It was a, a recreation of... Murders in the Rue Morgue by Edgar Allan Poe. And, uh, yeah, that took me weeks to put together. And that's one of his short stories. And it was cool. It was fun. And then I played through it. And, uh, yeah, not doing that again. But if I could, like, download other people's games that they worked on and play them, like, I, I would love that. That would be awesome. I just don't know if you can actually do that with RPG Maker. At least not... I mean, you can probably do that on PC, but I don't know if you can do that on console. d -bum says... So one, no one else runs. Hmm? Kirby says, I ran Pike's Peak and had a record. The actual hill climb. Oh, that's cool. In a car, not in a game. Gotcha. Debum says it'll drain your health, but I think it's supposed to allegedly be poison. Same. It's rough, even with pre-made assets, yeah. This place is I respect the ones who create games. Yes. We have um, a streamer friend of ours who's actually making a game right now. And I think he's about done. Uh, he just hasn't released it yet. And... His name is Wipeout. He was last streaming Project Zomboid. Um, he's making a, uh, a top-down... Uh, what would you call it? A top-down aerial flight combat game. And uh, that's coming out for PC this year. I believe. Dog fighting game? Yes, thank you. It's a dog fighting game. And uh, he just put together the trailer for it. It's not on Steam yet. I don't think you can even wishlist it on Steam yet, but he said it's coming soon. Vegeta says, I like that Cave Story was made by one guy. Cave Story. I think I'll be playing through that on stream. That and Zork. And I hear Zork is kind of based off Cave Story. dog fighting yes the world record i held was for a first person shooter it was called section eight and um section eight had records for the amount of kills with a weapon a given weapon and uh, i had the most kills with the auto pistol it was like a three shot bur burst pistol and people never really used uh handguns in that game like, handguns were considered, like, a high-skill weapon. Most people just used uh, shotguns, and they used assault rifles, and that was it. And then as the game began to degrade, uh, people just started using mines. 
because they found out that mines were like one hit kill items and so they would just run up to you and throw a mine at you and if it got anywhere near you it would explode like a grenade and instantly kill you and so they were just using grenades and mines and turned into like a first person explosives game which stunk but um yeah i had the world record for the most kills with auto pistol and then its sequel came out section 8 prejudice and again i had the world record for the most kills with auto pistol so two world records two great science fiction first person shooters i love those games and the servers got shut down um i don't think you need to buy them anymore but they were a lot of fun that was back on playstation 3. she just says "Ooh, you're gonna stream cave story too i believe so yes that will be a monday marvel i believe since there were no um since there was no cave story too at least i don't think there was i'm surprised at how many zork games there are like there's a ton of zork games there's like zork zero one two three return just uh, there's a lot but um yeah i love older games this place is i wish they could bring they would bring back 007 multiplayer i thought they had i thought that game uh was re-released haven't saved in a while See, my question is, why would I go down these stairs? Because if I go down these stairs, I can't do anything. Like, that's a wall. And if I go this way, there's... I'm guessing the red stuff is like lava. So it'll kill me if I fall into it. And then you go this way, and then that's it. You hit another wall. Well, the skeleton can walk through it. I can't walk through it. But it's like, why would I go down there? That doesn't make any sense to me. There's no more stairs down there. You don't know? Hmm. Do you have a Nintendo Switch misplaced? Kirby says I'm on PC now. Now, last time we went down these stairs, and that took us someplace different to a town. But I'm wondering what happens. I feel like I'm not supposed to try that. Like, that looks too far to jump. If I was up there, already on that platform, on over there, I feel like I could probably make it down here. But I feel like I can't jump all the way over there. Not up. So I guess we're going to try to go down again. The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. Oh, and welcome to our magic menagerie, D-Bomb Gaming. Thank you for the follow, D-Bomb. on D-Bomb's channel right now. Mega Man X8. I want to get into Mega Man soon as well. Super Ninja Boy. I feel like I've heard of, I heard of that. Two Worlds. Final Fantasy IV. The After Years. Stardew Valley. Cool, cool. I'm gonna throw you a follow. But yes, I stream a little something different every day. I know that not every game is for every person. Not every game genre is for every person. Um, so I try to offer a little something different. Um, actually, I've already talked to everyone in this town. And so Mondays, I tend to stream games that are not part of a series. Typically, they're indie games. 
Uh oh. Sorry if someone said something. I bumped my uh, my remote. Ah, here we go. Here's what I missed. I have two stream windows open. It helps. He says that purple stuff is poison. Uh, ah, Miss Place says, yes, I do have a Nintendo Switch. I see, I see. Creepy asks, what games are you playing on the Switch? Hello, Kale Arishatol. I probably mispronounced that, I do apologize. I'll call you Kale. Hello, Kale. Welcome to the stream. Kale asks, hey, how is Castlevania 2? I'm liking it. The music is really fun. The gameplay feels more responsive than the first game. Um, it isn't as linear as Castlevania 1, but I mean, I guess that depends if you like linearity in your games. I feel like linearity would make it easier because I would know exactly where to go. Um, but I feel like I'm enjoying the the adventure aspect of it, and the combat's fun. It's a bit different. Uh, you get unlimited sub weapon uses, which sounds awesome. Uh, but the sub weapons don't seem to be quite as strong as they were in the original Castlevania. This place is not too many, sadly. Because it's hard to pull me away from other games, LOL. I feel that. I feel that. I have a quite a game collection myself, but it's hard to pull me away from the games that I'm streaming. Kel says, are you doing this blind? I am doing this blind, yes. This is my first playthrough. Now, I, I said before that if someone wants to give me tips, like, hey, there's a special item here, or you might want to talk to this merchant in this town, like, I'll take those kind of tips. Um, but no, I'm not using any kind of strategy guide. I never do. If I'm well, I can't say I never do. But if I am, I'll tell you. Like, I'll be like, hey, I play. Usually, if I use a guide, it's because I played through a video game once, I beat it, and I'm like, okay, now I want to run through this game on, say, PlayStation 4 and get all the trophies. So I'm using a trophy walkthrough. Like, I'll do that sometimes. But typically, the first time through a game, I don't use walkthroughs at all. Or if I do. If a game is divided into, like, chapters, then I might go and see, like, okay, how many chapters are in this game? Uh, so that way I'll have an idea of, like, how long it's going to be, because I like to to plan ahead my content. Um, so I know, like, exactly when I need to have the next game ready for stream. But otherwise, yeah, I play blind, so this, this is a blind playthrough. Have you played this, Kale? I was here. I've been playing for a while now. Uh, I went back to the first town, then I came back to this town. And um, sort of trying to figure out where to go. I've been writing down all the clues on a slip of paper here. See if you can get a look at that. There we go. And I've written down the locations of... Actually, let me continue to write down the locations. So this is town one right. And I can go right for Dobby's Path. Or I can go left, which is where I came from, for Veros Woods. Okay. Hmm. Good luck. Thanks. Because as I speedrun this and the randomizer 
though not so much lately. There's a randomizer in this game? Creepy Ask is placed, do you play Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing's a fun, popular game on Switch. Requires a lot of creativity. Creativity I don't feel I personally have. But if I had a Switch, I might get it, but I would just really explore other people's worlds or islands. Miss Place Redeemed, tell me a fun fact or tip, my lord. Very well, very well. Let me get my, my tip list here. Ah, okay. I like this one. A cronut is a... Yes, a cronut is a cross between a croissant and a donut. Hmm. Sounds tasty. There is your fact, Miss Place. Kill says, yes, there's a randomizer. It's really good. Hmm. So I guess that must enhance uh, replay value. I already talked to these people. I wrote down all their clues. And uh, I don't see any open shops. There, Actually, there are two shops here, but they're both empty. I don't know what that's about. I thought maybe there might be, like, an item hidden in the bricks, but... Nothing. So I guess I just have to keep going. And this seems very dangerous. This, see, I feel like this is more dangerous than the last, uh, chance I had to go right. Or, I mean, to go up into the right rather than down into the right. I feel like I'm gonna die here. Don't do this to me. I'm not going back for it. Yeah, I am. Poked your eye out. Oh. Wait, can I not get up? Oh, okay, there we go. I thought maybe I could only get down this. Oh, dear. What a horrible night to have a curse. Oh, no. The only items I've purchased so far in this game are, oh, are the Thorn Whip and Holy Water. I stayed around the, um, the first town and just did some grinding for those. should not go that way. I'll just go... I'll just keep going up, so I don't have to jump. Oh, no! This would be a lot easier in the morning when they died in one hit. But I want to see what's this way. Oh, there was nothing that way. What's down here? where I would have gone had I gone up. 
like, had I not gone... Had I done all those jumps before, instead of going, taking the, uh, the stairs down to the town, I feel like that's... This is where it would have led me. I love the sound effects. I love the music. Oh! Oh. Let's see. Vegeta says, Orphy, I'm gonna head out for the night. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Thanks, Vegeta. Thanks for coming by. Sleep well. All right. Let's continue. Oh, come on. Oh, the bats. Okay. The bats only go down so far. It's wherever I happen to be. They're not like the eyeballs that'll track you. What if I- Oh no! Can I go this way? Oh, I can't go this way. Oh, so I do have to go this way, okay. Oh, the morning sun has a vanquished the horrible night. Oh, no! I hope I don't die. Where's the next town? I need the church. Do you have any items? Yes. I have my thorn whip. 256 hearts. I don't know what 62 on the E means. I don't know what any of the letters mean. I think T means time. I don't know what kind of time it's tracking. Maybe it means like I'm the seventh day at 741 in the morning. Um, I don't know what L means. I would guess it means level, but... It doesn't seem like this game has levels. You just explore like an open map. So I don't know what L means. Um, I know a hearts is currency. Like I said, I upgraded to a thorn whip from the leather whip. Uh, I spoke to the merchant in the first town, and I purchased the white crystal. I don't know what it does. And I did some extra grinding and bought the holy water. So those are the items I have. E is experience, L is level. So after you gain so much experience, you, what, gain a level? Is that how it works? Is this like an RPG? And if so, what happens when you level up? Yes. Nope. I'm gonna try taking the stairs down. Maybe I'll bump into a new, into a new town. The Thorn Whip is working really well, though. I didn't expect it to uh, to deal so much damage. I like the fact the character looks a little different. He has different clothes from Castlevania 1. But this music is rocking. I love this soundtrack. I can see myself listening to this, like, off-stream. Or, like, not while I'm not playing the game. I'm not trying to get all exploratory here. I just want to reach the next town. That's all I'm interested in doing. What? What? That's messed up. 
I mean, there could be an invisible floor here for all I know. I'm gonna bet there's not, though. If I throw my holy water and it goes down there, I'm guessing there's no floor. Wow. I gotta go back. Oh, and I gotta go back the hard way, too. I should have saved. That's horrible. Oh, where did I last say that? Oh, here? That's not too bad. Interesting, there's some slowdown. Oh, I know where this is. There's some slowdown in the ROM, which is weird. I wouldn't think there'd be slowdown in the, uh... This is the PlayStation 4 version, by the way. This is... I'm playing this from, um, the Castlevania Anniversary Collection. There's nothing to the left, right? It's just a wall? What a horrible night to have a curse. Jeez. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die again. Oh. You get more health and you heal. Oh, nice. The emulator they use in is accurate, so if the NES would have lagged, the emulator lags the same way. Really? That's cool. Some blocks can be destroyed with holy water? Ooh, this is new. No. What are you? I'm going to save here. There we go. Oh, that was close. Hmm. 
Hmm. Up or down? Nope, let's go down. Oh! Let's go back up. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we got stuck! Oh, I should have taken advantage of that when I when I had the chance. This little blue imp looks tough. Oh, offensively it was tough. Defensively it wasn't that bad. No. Oh my gosh! No! Go away! Go away! No! Oh, that was luck. Oh no, I'm gonna die! I wasn't paying attention to the skeleton. That's a wall? Elden Ring found it really in- oh. Kayla's answering the question of the day. Question of the day. What's the game you thought you'd like but don't? Kayla answers Elden Ring. I found it really annoying after just a few hours. Really? I would think you'd like Elden Ring as well if you learned how to speedrun Castlevania. I see Elden Ring or the Soul series is kind of similar to Castlevania. You have a limited set of moves. You, to some degree, have to memorize monster patterns. You're exploring dungeons and caves against supernatural enemies. It seems like it'd be similar. What? When you level up, oh my gosh, it happened again. When you level up, do you, um... Oh my gosh! How do you get more continues? Oh my gosh, this is so my gosh. That's cheap. Oh, we have, I have continues. Do I still have all my items? Oh, I do, but my hearts are completely wiped out. You have infinite continues. You lose hearts and XP when you do. I see.
<sighs> All right. There's no way I can get past this guy. Like he's gonna he's gonna hit me either way, and I, there's nothing I can do. Oh my gosh! It happened again. I keep forgetting. to go up here and take a hit. At least one hit. Paint the walls with holy water. It'll help. I feel like I have to start doing that. Like... Oh, come on! I meant to walk up the stairs there. I'm gonna die now because there's no way I can... I, you have to take damage when you go this way. Like, there's no way of avoiding the damage. Oh my gosh. I feel like that was more a matter of luck than anything else. I do have to go up. Oh no. Another wall. Oh, that was so close. That was so close.
I feel like I can't trust anything in this place. Oh, that's dirty. That's dirty. It's at least the first block. The first block isn't even solid. The third block is. Oh. I can see it being cheap where one of these blocks is fake and I fall down into the spikes and die. Who are you? That looks like a merchant. Is that a merchant or is it an enemy? I thought I might have been dead right there. I thought he was going to uh, throw a bone up in the air and hit me. No! No! I'm trying to throw a potion to make sure the floor is solid. And he kept walking up the stairs instead. assume this is a merchant. Okay, we got an oak steak. Is that another sub weapon? Ah, no, go away. Wait, what? Oh, it's a one-time use? Ah, stop! No, stop! No, go away!
I tested it, I saw there was no floor, and then I jumped into it anyway. That hurt. Oh! Oh no, I know where this is. I'm dead. That took so much work just getting all the way- No! I forgot about this! Oh, this is so horrible. Hello, I'm new to stream. Tisk tisk Hago, tisk tisk. I know who ye be, Hago. Oh no! How are you doing tonight, Hago? Very good, just checking in. I see, I see. We are here for a reminiscence, a retro reminiscence game day. Trying to make our way through Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. And it is proving to be a unique challenge. Oh, leave me alone! There we go. Oh. Vampire the main villain? I believe so. We have another bout with Dracula. Spoilers, Hago, spoilers. From what I've read in the game's intro, this is the same hero from Castlevania 1, which we beat uh, two Tuesdays ago. And it seems that at the end of Castlevania 1, there was some sort of weird curse placed upon our hero, Simon Belmont. And... Um, Dracula's body was separated into five pieces. And in order to be rid of the curse... Uh, um... We have to gather his five body parts, reassemble him at Count or at Castle Dracula, and then defeat him once more. <sighs> and I've come to learn that unlike Castlevania 1, in Castlevania 2, there are false floors, which is what I'm using the holy water for to try to detect. Um, where the solid flooring is and then just jump to it. Because if not, you'll walk through the floor and you'll fall and die. 
which is cheap. Curse vampire hunting to defeat the main bad guy. Yes. It'll give you trust issues. <laughs> Joke's on you, I already do. <laughs> jump here. Oh, that's why you can't jump here. See that? See that fake floor? I walk over those bricks and I'm, I'm gonna fall right through. So now, I have to experiment to see exactly where the, the real flooring is. Hago redeems Hydrate very well. Let's see here. Holy water requires water. I don't have water near me, but I do have a bottle of Gatorade. We could call this a magic potion. This is a castle that we're going through right now. I'm guessing it's some sort of grand dungeon. I hope that once we beat it, I'm guessing there's a boss at the end. And maybe a special item that maybe it'll automatically like kick us out so we don't have to make our way all the way back down through the dungeon. But we'll see. Ah, and Hagari Deem stretch as well. Very well, very well. We shall stretch. Ugh. Stretching our left arm. Ah, and welcome to our magic menagerie. I'm always follow you. Well, thank you, I'm always follow you. Perhaps you will always follow me as well. And the other arm. And the shoulder as well. This is a good way to relax. You can feel the tightness. And then after a while, it just relaxes. Ugh. <laughs> Sounds like bot. Don't know. Hmm. I think it's real. Could be. Could just be a lurker. I've noticed that when bots follow me, my follower count doesn't go up. I don't know why that is, but it just doesn't. Um, but it went up right there, so. Stretching legs now, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Back to Castlevania. 
so that's a mistake I made before. No, I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna do that. Let's go back a little bit. Back a bit more. Okay, that's solid. We can land there. That's solid. Okay. There we go. There we go. That's solid. Solid. Upstairs. Ooh. You guys okay? You just hanging out? Ooh, what's that? That's a shiny. Wouldn't that have been horrible if I would have not been paying attention and I only had just enough health left to like be hit one more time and then die? And I was like, ooh, what's that glowing orb? And the skeleton walked up behind me and killed me. I mean, I'd probably start like right here anyway, but. Now see, that's a bot. Hey, Brandon's here. Hey, yo, Orpheo and Chet. Hello, Brandon. How are you doing tonight? Do I have to hit it? What? Holy water? No. Do I have to... Crouch. It looks like this is what I'm here for, but I don't know what's going on. It wouldn't let you ban him? That's weird. Oh, you could try timing him out. Well, no, I've banned people as a mod, so I don't know why you can't ban people as a mod. That's, that's weird. Brandon says you're doing good. That's good. Glad you're doing well, Brandon. So to anyone who has played this game before, why can I not collect this item? Or if I can collect the item, how do I collect the item? I can't whip it. I can't holy water it. I don't know if I need, like, the orb to get it. I do have an orb. So I don't know... I feel like this is the point of coming into this dungeon, is to, is to get here where I'm at now. Is there something else that I have to do? Kale says, think about your options. You have what you need. Haga says, helicopter, helicopter, Miata, Miata. Hmm. It looks like an orb. And I have an orb. So I guess I'm gonna select... You can't really select it. I mean, I can, like, s select one of these things. I'll select that. I'll leave it blinking over there. The only other thing I can think of... And I feel like if I'm wrong, I'm gonna waste it, and I don't want to go through the trouble of picking it up again is to uh, purchase a stake. I'm uh, not purchase stake, I have a stake. Is to use the stake to fly into the orb. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do because the, the stake like blinks and the orb is blinking. So maybe one blinking item has to crash into another blinking item. Maybe that's it. I can't think of anything else. I can't whip it, I can't holy water it, I can't crouch down on it to pick it up. All right, we'll try that. We're gonna save first, just in case I'm wrong. Because I really don't wanna to have to buy that steak again. It was the steak! Awesome! So I guess the, you need the steak to break open the, uh, the orb. You now... I possess. I don't possess it. I process it. Okay. You now possess Dracula's rib. Mm -hmm. Nice. 
Now I need some barbecue sauce and a grill, and we can have ourselves a tasty undead barbecue. Key item, Dracula's Rib. What? Oh, it said his rib provides defense or protection. So we have a shield now. You just yoinked his rib. Is that legal? I mean, it was just lying around. He wasn't using it, so I mean... But I have to get, I have to make my own way out of here. I'm not just like immediately teleported out of the dungeon. Oh, that stinks. But I mean, I guess that's part of like what the, uh, the benefit of the invisible floor is. Like you can just, now that I have what I need, I can just like walk out, walk through the floor, fall through and uh, get out of here faster. I guess that's, that's part of the point of it. He says, it's only illegal if you get caught. That's right. I go says, wouldn't it just be bones then? Well, I mean, I don't know. Draco's a pretty powerful person. Maybe there's some meat left on there. I mean, you're right, but he's still a vampire lord. All right, let's see if we can get out of here. Really, I can't get out like any other way? Oh! I can crouch and jump! That's cool! Oh wait, no, with the shield he automatically like crouches and jumps. Okay, that's, that's not as cool anymore, but still. Creepy says, have you seen Draculade? Man's humus? Oh, creepy, creepy. Now, I know this is an invisible floor here somewhere. There we go. Oh, no. Now, let's get out of here. Oh, the shield pops up. I see. When we stop walking. I feel like this is the beginning of the dungeon. I think this is before we encounter the invisible fall through floors. Oh, I don't remember what's down there. Oh, wait. There's a, uh... Well, where is it? Isn't there... There's supposed to be, like, a blue elevator that brings me up there. What if I fall through? Oh, it's gone. Oh, maybe it was only there to get me to the orb, and then once I had the orb... I see. I kind of regret something now. What I regret is it requires a crystal. It requires a crystal be equipped. Oh. Interesting. Thank you. To see it. I gotcha. I was just thinking... Are we gonna need those... What are they called? The, um... The spikes? Or the stakes? To collect all of Dracula's body parts? Because if so, I feel like I should have gone back and just, like, loaded up on a few stakes. I mean, I got one of them, the rib. Should I go back? Since I know I can get there safely, somewhat, and collect, like, four more spikes? Or four more stakes?
You can only carry one stake at a time. Hmm. We're just gonna exit. I'm gonna guess that you always have an opportunity to pick up a stake wherever it is you're going. I can't see the game being like, no, you don't have a stake, you have to go all the way back to this dungeon here, go halfway through it, get a stake, exit, then come to the new dungeon, and then get his next body part. I mean, it could do that, but I hope it doesn't. Uh, we came from that direction, so let's go that way. See how well the shield works. The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. Good. Oh. Yeah. Drink it. Drink that the holy water. I know where I am. I made a circle. If we go down here, we get to go back to that second town we came across. Oh. I got nervous. I thought he was a, uh, an enemy. Hago asks, what's your favorite popsicle flavor? I'm not sure. Well, if I need a special item to see things in this game, what if I equip that? Are there special levers or elevators in shops now? They say different things. You wouldn't tell my son you should. Okay. Yes, let's heal. Awesome. Alright. One of Dracula's body parts is down, and one to go. No, I'm sorry, not one to go, four to go. But it looks like we have a lot of spaces for. I mean, I don't know, they could be spaced kind of far apart. Maybe it's just the, the orb to help you see platforms, plus the, uh, the other four Dracula's body parts, and that's it. That could be it. We go and raid! this way already, right? I did. I'm not going back that way. I guess the next direction I have to go is back to the original town we came from, but go to the left instead. At least we have full health now. It seemed really hard to go the other way, though, to go to the left of the first town. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I thought so. I thought it'd be a bad idea to fight. Just running was going to be the better part of it. Oh! I forgot about that. I am close to town. I could go back for health, but... Since my goal is to go back to a town right now, I'm just gonna continue on my way.
Ooh, I like this. What are you, what are you doing? Oh no. You're not gonna just drop me, are you? I keep my momentum, right? Okay. I thought it was gonna freeze me right there in the air and then just drop me as time the time of day was changing. That would have been so horrible. I'm like, I don't even control that. That's not that's not even my mistake. I shouldn't be penalized for that. I still have zero experience. How do I still have zero experience? Also, can you upgrade your whip? Like, I mean, I know I can upgrade my whip because I've done it already. But when I say, like, upgrade my whip... Like, what I mean is... I bought a thorn whip, right? Now, if I go back to that merchant in this town, and I'm like, yes, I want to buy a thorn whip for 100 hearts. Will that upgrade my thorn whip into a stronger thorn whip? Or will that just be a waste, like, a waste of money? says, you're in an area that's too easy for your level. Oh, interesting. So you can only get experience points from higher leveled areas. I don't know what gives them the impression it's too easy. They can still kill me pretty quickly. But that is pretty cool, though. That's, that's an RPG element right there. How... There's our church. I'll wait till daytime and heal myself up. And then I'll go to the left. It'll set you to Thorn Whip again. You can downgrade in this way, but it's not a good idea. Oh, okay. Well, I only have a Thorn Whip. So I didn't know if there was, like, a Thorn Whip level 2 or a Thorn Whip level 3 that I could do to, like, make it stronger. Or if it was just, like, Thorn Whip, you're done. So, I guess it's just, like, Thorn Whip and you're done. All right. Ah, good. The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. You'll find better whips eventually? Okay. Probably. Oh, nice! Even when I'm whipping and I'm, the shield's not, like, at the ready, he still blocks the fireballs. Oh, my gosh! Yeah, they really amped up the difficulty here. I'm getting experience again. How am I supposed to get across there?
but this is the second time I have come to a pool that's that has no bridge. Wait. Is there a platform that goes back and forth? It's not looking that way. requires a different kind of key item. I was going to try to talk to the merchant here again. See, maybe he would sell me a different item. Hmm. I know there are three merchants in this town. I bought the Thorn Whip from one. I got the holy water from the second, and I bought the orb from the third. But now that I have the rib, will the NPCs say different things to me? Will they try to sell me different items? I guess I can just hang out till daytime and see. See if maybe they give me different clues. So I definitely know how to reach two towns. I don't know what names these towns are. But I know there's more than two towns in the game due to what the NPCs have told me. I, oh. So far, the clues they've given me are a flame is atop the sixth tree in Dennis Woods. I don't know where Dennis Woods is. I haven't come to a sign yet that points me in the direction of Dennis Woods. The second clue is, the ferryman of Dead River loves garlic, so I'm guessing I have to obtain garlic to pay for my trip with the ferryman. Uh, another clue is, a magic potion will destroy the wall of evil. Oh. Maybe they mean holy water will destroy a wall that prevents you from progressing further. But I don't know where that wall is. I did see in that first dungeon, though, that when I threw my holy water and it hit some of the bricks, that the bricks disappeared. Okay. 
So does that mean that there are some some walls that if I throw my holy water at, I can I can walk through, and that will be like that will lead me to other towns or other parts of a of a different level. Let's get talking to some people again. A crooked trader is offering bum deals in this town. That's old. First thing to do in this town is buy a white crystal. I did that. Thirteen clues will solve Dracula's riddle. I'm guessing the thirteen clues are like thirteen key items. You have a friend in the town of Aldra. Go and see him. Turn right for the Jova Woods, left for Belasco Marsh. A magic potion will destroy the Wall of Evil. I'm guessing that means holy water will destroy some walls. Clues to Dracula's Riddle are in the town of Veros. So that makes me think that this is not Veros. Unless he feels like talking in third person. Well, not exactly third person, but... Rumor has it, the ferryman at Dead River loves garlic. Buy a thorn whip? No. I already have a thorn whip. And I was told that I can't upgrade the thorn whip. So I might as well keep it. I guess no. I don't need multiple white crystals, do I? I would guess not. It comes off as being like a, uh, a key item. I already have holy water. I guess we're done in this town then. All the NPCs are saying the same things. We can't buy anything new. Oh no! 
That's six. There go all my hard-earned hearts. What a heartbreaker. Like, I know these can be destroyed. Oh! What was the point of that? They just not have to fight anyone upstairs? I know where this goes. This comes back from the dungeon we went to before. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Now we're back here again. Uh, I took a hit, but I didn't take damage. Interesting. Can my holy water destroy any of these walls? Is that what it's getting at? Maybe. Maybe that's what the point of jumping through all that mess up there is. Stupid greedy me, stupid greedy me. I had to have the hearts.
So it's not breaking those walls. I thought maybe we'd break that gate. So I can go that way. Or I can go this way. But I feel like I've gone through here before. I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. Oh no. And you can't throw a holy water when you're on the stairs either, which is also different from Castlevania 1. Wait, well, I was here earlier, wasn't I? Did I just make a circle? Did, I think I did. I just went around in a circle. Oh. No, that can't be right. No, 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 no. Last time... Yeah, last time there was no way... There was no large lava pool right there last time. So this is... I am going a different way. Okay. See, in Castlevania 1, one holy water would have killed that skeleton. Not three. I understand it's nighttime, and in this game, enemies get stronger at night. But, it, uh, no. I feel like the events of Castlevania 1 took place all within one night. Like, canonically. This is the dungeon. This is the first dungeon that I came across. This is where I got the rib. And then if I keep going left, then it takes me back to... Yeah. Okay, so... I have to go the other way. But I feel like I went the other way, and the other way doesn't work because it takes you to, like, a, a pond or a pool. And there's no way to cross the pool. So it's like, if I go extreme left, there is a large pool of lava that I can't cross. Or I can go to the extreme right, in which case there's a large pool of water that I can't cross. Either way, I can't cross. Now we have to go to the far right. We'll try that. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-huh. 
This is not something we did last time. Last time we went this way, and I think this is the pool of water. No, that's not the pool of water. Never mind. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, <laughs> I'm surprised I lived like that. Wait, what was that? What did it say? Oh, I didn't see what it said. Oh, I got another item. What is this item? He now possessed the sacred flame. What does the sacred flame do? See how that's that useful. Oh, because it's a sub weapon. Okay. Burns things. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But I still, I feel like I, I still need the, the holy potion here to reveal. Oh dear. I knew I was going to die there. I hate those spiders. Okay. The second town isn't down those stairs, is it? We already passed the second town. Didn't we? We did. I forgot what's down here. Oh, I remember what's down here. This is, um... Once we drop down and go to the right, there's going to be a large body of water here. But there's not going to be any way to cross it. And so you have to turn around and come back this way towards the bottom. And that's when you have to try to use the, um, the bricks to get back to where you came from.
<laughs> yeah, we have to go back. I forgot the stalactites here actually hit you. Well, now they're not hitting me. That's messed up. So then I guess I'm not supposed to go this way? I love the soundtrack during the daytime. That so feels like classic Castlevania to me. You can play this in the club. You know what? Let's see how effective the, the Holy Flame is. Ooh. Hmm. Let's try that again. I like it. It seems stronger than Holy Water. Which... Feels kind of like blasphemy when it comes to Castlevania. It's like. Oh. Like the strongest item in Castlevania. Well, the strongest sub weapon in Castlevania 1 was holy water. So much so that that was like a boss strat. This is a new town. Cool. Where are we? Turn right for Camilla Cemetery. Left for Algeba Woods. So we are at town three. Well, no, well. I mean, I guess you could call it. I call it Town 2. I have, a uh, Starter Town, Town 1, then Town 2. So if I go right, that's Camila... Cemetery. If I go left, back where I came from, that's... All Jaiba Woods. Okay. Welcome to Al Jaiba. Thank you. Were there any clues about Al Jaiba? Let me see. I have. My clues here that I've written down are a flame is atop the sixth tree in Dennis Woods. Ferryman at Dead River loves garlic. A magic potion will destroy the wall of evil. Which I now think means holy water can destroy certain bricks or blocks to allow you through. You have a friend in Aldra. Thirteen clues will solve Dracula's riddle. Clues to Dracula's riddle are in the town of Veros, Algiba, and Berkeley Mansion. You've got a friend waiting for you in the town of Algiba. Okay. Laurel's in your soup enhances its aroma. I almost feel like that's not even a clue. That's more like just something someone, like a programmer, felt like saying. They just threw it in there, just throw it in there. And a rib can shield you from evil. All right, let's see what other clues we get here. Let's try entering this first place. Another empty shop? Ooh. Can't break anything. Mm -hmm. 
What about here? Another empty shop. Mm. I'm like hoping to find another shop where I can upgrade my whip again. No townspeople either. Oh, here we go. Buy some garlic. It has special powers. Okay. Oh. I think they're gonna try to sell me garlic. I'm like, alright, I'll take garlic. I know the, the ferryman wants garlic. Hmm. Clues to Dracula's riddles are in the Veros Woods. I think I've been to Veros Woods. Is that a platform? It is not a platform. It had a pink line on it, just like the bricks do. No. Walk away. Okay, just checking. Another empty shop. Oh. No breakable bricks, at least not with the whip. Is there at least a church here where I can heal? Clues to Dracula's riddle are in Rover Mansion. Oh, I'm guessing those, what I call castles, are mansions. I guess Dracula is the only one that actually has a, uh, a castle. A laurel will protect you from the poison marsh. Oh. A laurel will protect you. From the poison marsh. So there's also the other clue that laurels in your soup enhance its aroma. So does that mean someone around here is gonna try to sell me some soup? The dead river waits to be freed from the curse. Alright, but to cross the dead river... Uh-oh. I need garlic. Four holy waters. Let's see how much, uh, how many hits they need from the divine fire. Looks like the same amount of hits. It's just that it hits them three times in one instance. I would like to hang out here just because there might have been more NPCs to the left that I could have talked to. Got some more clues. Come on, I got 217 hearts here. I want to buy something. I want to buy a better whip. Well, no walls are destructible in town with holy water. 
At least I know that much. And again, it's empty of merchants. Let me just sneak a peek what's to the right here. Ah, this is the Camilla Cemetery. There you go. Grab this. Oh, they can't die? Oh, they can die. That's a lot of hits. I can't jump up there. Yeah, there's no way I can jump up there. Oh, wait, is there a invisible platform? There's not an invisible platform. Okay. What did they say about Camila? I think it was just tips about Camila. Yeah, go to the right to the, for the Camila Cemetery. I can't double jump. If I try to jump, will they reach up and grab me? No, okay. It seems weird that that's the only enemy here. I mean, I'm not complaining, but... see their usefulness now. You can spam these to create like a permanent fire shield. Oh no you can't. You can only throw three at a time. That's still pretty good though. Alright. Let's see if we can talk to any other NPCs in this town. Laurel will protect you, right, from the poison marsh. The dead river waits to be freed from the curse, okay. Aha, there are more. To restore your life, shout in front of the church. Shout. There is no church here, is there? I didn't see one. Who are you? I'd like to exchange a white crystal for a blue one. Oh, that's messed up. He just he just took it. I refuse to exchange my crystal for yours. Well, I'm guessing now that I have this blue crystal, I can see things I didn't see before. But I still want my white crystal back. I mean, I could get it back. I just have to go all the way back to, like, town one. have it equipped, but I still can't see anything. 
Maybe I have to go back to where I saw that big body of water before. That could be it. very grateful that Oh, did I just level up? Ooh, I leveled up. Yeah, level 2. Finally, I'm finally level 2. You are now level 2. What did you say happens when I level up? Oh, that's right. I get more health, and all of my health gets restored. Oh! Oh, come on. He walked away for a while. More HP and heal, yes. You have more health, damage reduction. Oh, nice. And women may come to find you attractive in time. Really? Hmm. S Simon the Heart Slayer, eh? Not just a vampire slayer. Should have burned the web away. Whatever. I almost walked right into that lava. wrong, but I feel like in order to progress further, maybe not through the next mansion, but in order to progress through perhaps Dracula's castle at the end of this, I feel like I'm going to need all of the orbs. Maybe you don't necessarily need all the orbs, but maybe if you have all the orbs, there'll be like secret um, or bonus um, platforms you can ride. Two, 
to, uh, oh! To, like, extra items. Like, additional sub-weapons. What is that there? You see that? What is that? Right up there, you see? It's not a cloud. All the other clouds are just normal blue. It's right... Right there, right underneath me. What is that? It looks like someone's sleeping. It's a glitch? Oh, okay. I feel like I'm becoming more fearless now. Oh no! <laughs> that was a good jump. I wish I had this kind of gear in Castlevania 1. A shield that deflected fire fireballs? That would have been really helpful. There's a lot of glitches. Hmm. I will say so far, I am having more fun in Castlevania 2 than I had in Castlevania 1. Like, Castlevania 1 was a really great game. Um, very simplistic, but still very challenging. And it feels like Castlevania 2 really expanded on that formula by a lot. No! I thought I was going to be able to hold the white and blue crystal at the same time. But that's not what happened. It just replaced my blue crystal. So I guess now I know that you can only hold one crystal of a particular color at a time. Okay. So that means I have to go all the way back to where I just came from, which I guess wasn't too hard to get there anyway. But, uh, to get that blue crystal back. That stinks. At least let me rest first. Okay. So far, the only part I haven't liked in Castlevania 2 is the fake floor. The fake floor blocks, that's... And I sense that's, that's not the only mansion that's going to happen in. But, um... Outside of that, I do like the game. Oh, that felt close. I didn't duck with my duck down with my shield until like the last moment.
Yeah, I'm supposed to go down here, right? Pretty sure I am. Oh, actually, I think this is just a shortcut. When you when you speed run this game, how long does it take you to speed run it? I'm curious. World record is half an hour and some seconds. Your personal best is like 37 minutes something. Wow. So you have already beaten the game by now. Like the whole game. Well, you know what you're doing. Puzzles are easy when you know the solution. Huh? That is true. Ah. So the sacred flame doesn't work to burn away false blocks. You do need the um, holy water for that. You now possess the sacred flame. I just wanted to read that. too far away. No! Alright, we're back. In the Japanese version, the world record is like five minutes. How is that possible in the Japanese version? Is there like a glitch in the Japanese version? Oh, 
Oh! Four hits with the whip? Really? Yes, it takes you to Dracula's castle with all the required pieces. Oh, interesting. I feel like that's almost like cheating. Well, I guess not cheating, it's just a glitch. But still, that's... I guess that would take some of the fun away from the game, though. I mean, it makes world record times easy, but... I don't know. I would miss exploring... ...fighting all the different enemies. Alright. Now we just need to hang out here. Try to collect some hearts. Maybe we'll get lucky and level up again. And, uh... Oh, maybe not only have one experience point. I really need a heal, but there's no churches here. Just don't get hit. It looks like my hearts have capped too. I'm not getting any more. It capped at 256. Yep, for some reason they have a cap at 256. It's an 8-bit system. I was thinking that, like... Isn't there, like, only so high that an 8-bit game can go up to, like, in terms of numbers? Two fifty six. We need to wait for the dawn again to get that blue crystal back. I'm gonna guess once we have it, we have to go back to where there's a lot of water, use the blue crystal there, and then maybe that will show us a platform that goes back and forth across the, uh, the huge body of water and that will take us where we need to be. Then we're probably gonna have to come back here and make our way through the cemetery and then eventually, I'm guessing, get a red crystal and then go back to where there was that large pool of magma and use that to cross. I'd like to exchange a white crystal for a blue one. Internally, they use two bytes. One for the tens, and ones, and one for hundreds and thousands. But they set a cap at 256. 8-bit would be a cap of 255 because zero exists. Ah. Yeah, you forgot about zero. All right, we have our blue orb. It's the weirdest thing. Someone sat down and said, let's put a cap of 256 in. Hmm. All right. Now I have to try to think about how to get back to that large blue expanse of water. This is like boss music right here. And there's, like, literally only, like, two enemies here. I 
I probably come back around from that other direction to come back this way. That's what it is. All right. Since I think this takes me to the across the um the body of water, what we're gonna do? Oh wait, I ha yeah, it's not that way is we're gonna go back to town two because that's where the body of water is near. We're gonna hit the church, we're gonna heal, and then we're going to make our way to that bottle, not bottle, body of water, and see if we can cross it. Wait, wasn't it right here? Isn't this where the body of water was? I know it was downstairs somewhere. Hmm. Actually, wasn't it that way? It is this way. No. No. I should do that from the outset. Just stay on the bottom floor to avoid getting hit by the eyes. Yes, it is this way. Because you have to time those... those platforms just right. Okay. Nope. I'm not seeing anything. So I guess I'm wrong there. All right, well, my next idea... I mean, I guess there's really two more ideas I could have. I could try to return back to the mansion I was at before where I got the rib. And see if a different kind of platform appears, but I don't think that's the solution. Um, maybe return back to where we saw that huge pool of lava, which is just to the left of the first town. And... Uh, Maybe with the blue crystal equipped, we can see some other, some platform across it. Let's give that a shot. Probably gonna die here. Oh, I can't believe I did that. The blue crystal wouldn't open a path through the mountains, would it? No, these aren't even blue mountains. They just look blue because it's nighttime.
Leave me alone! the heart. Oh, I earned that heart. I'm curious if there's a different path down there. Like, why have the platforms down there with the skeleton unless you could break those bricks at the end with holy water and go through to someplace different? They really don't want you to go down there. Oh, there's some more stairs! This is a new town. Is it? No. We took a shortcut. This is... Where's my map? Turn right for Dubai's path. We're in town too. Oh, that was a shortcut. Very nice. Well, from here, we just have to get back to Town 1, and Town 1 is very close. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, I've never seen them do that before. Should we just hang out and wait till it till dawn to hit the church? I mean, the church is right there. We could chance it. Sneaky, sneaky, it turns around. Nah, we'll go back to the first town. We just have to do our best not to get hit. Oh! I always forget that skeleton. I always forget about it.
All right, we're back. It should be pretty close to dawn. Then we'll heal the church and then go far left. There we go. Very nice. All right. Let's make our way back to the left. We've accomplished a lot. Let's save here. It's the shield that really makes this part possible. I mean, you probably, if you're good enough, can just, like, jump over their fireballs if you time everything correctly, but... No, that's that's not me. Okay. Okay. Blue crystal? Is there any platform that moves back and forth across the lava? I'll wait a bit. I'm not seeing one. Unless this is like a really long body of lava. No. I don't think that's what the blue crystal does. Hmm. And the blue crystal didn't do anything at the cemetery. Maybe I go back to the mansion with the blue crystal and that reveals something different. I feel like that's not the solution, though. I know from talking to the NPCs that there are multiple mansions, so that makes me think that there's a piece of Dracula in each of the different mansions. Maybe I go back to Town 2. Maybe there's some merchants you can only see using the, the, the crystal. Maybe you have to have the blue crystal equipped to see those merchants. That could be it. I'll try that. Some good XP from that. I wonder how many experience it takes to level up. We're not going to stay here to heal. Town 2 isn't far away. By the time we get to town two, it'll probably be dawn now. We'll heal then. Oh, 
I don't know why I'm still collecting hearts. I guess it's just like force of habit. I forgot I capped out. See that blue rock here at first. Oh! That's the first time I've ever seen him just turn around like that. Go away, wolf. glad that I just hung out around town one for the for the first part of this playthrough because that thorn whip is coming in pretty handy as is the holy water or at least the holy water was before I got the, the sacred flame especially since it doesn't appear that there are any merchants that you can buy anything from nearby So once we get through this cave, it should be we should be in town too. Yep. All right. Equip blue crystal. Do I have to go out and in? I don't see anything that looks different. These aren't breakable, are they? Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Will you buy a dagger? Sure, why not? Now, is this a one-time use, or is it... No. I can use as much as I want. Oh, but it's very short range. Okay. So this place does have hidden merchants. Well, that's a little cruddy now because... Well, no, I've only been in how many towns? Three, I think. So now I have to see, like, which other towns have, uh, hidden merchants. Maybe that's why I wasn't finding any merchants before. I think that's why Kale said maybe you'll find stronger whips.
All right, we've got to go find town three again. Let's re-equip our shield and our flame. I don't know if we're going the way we're supposed to go. To, uh... To progress the story. But what I do know... Is... This is the way towards... Town 3. Oh my gosh. I think it was straight. Town three. Blue crystal has anything to do with it. I don't think it does, but we will test. All right, nothing here. Okay, this is town three. across three towns, right? So far. Three towns and one mansion. Okay, so we were in there already. We were in there already, right? No, we weren't. We were in that, that doorway. We still have to explore this one. Take a lot of hits. Oh, I should be getting experience from this. If I'm not getting experience from these enemies, I'm not. That means it expects I have a stronger weapon by now, and I don't. Which makes me happy, because that means to me that maybe there's a stronger whip in this town. And I just have to wait for Dawn to access it. He can jump, boy. That's like, what is that, six feet? More than six feet, I would guess. I'd guess he's about six feet himself. Come on!
What time is it? 20? 20, it's like 8.01 p.m.? So like every real world second that goes by is like 10 seconds in game. Interesting. There we go. empty town? I don't know what to do now. I mean, there's still some things I could try. Like, I could try returning to the mansion and use my blue crystal. But I feel like there's three locations that I can't get past. There's a large body of water there's a large body of magma near town one. The large pool of water is near town two. And then here is the cemetery. 
with hands grasping at you. And that's it. You, there's no, you can't jump up that high. Which means you have to be coming back from that way. From somewhere. So I feel like for now, I don't know... Like, the only other thing I can think of is that maybe you need the white crystal after all to come back here, and then you would see a platform hovering up and down. Like, you weren't supposed to talk to that guy to, to have him take away your white crystal for a blue crystal. Like, maybe that makes sense, but I don't know. I don't think that's the case. Oh, double the hands. anyone care to offer me any advice? Actually, I'll be right back. I have run out of hydration. My teacup is empty. My little Gatorade bottle is empty. It was anyway, I'm gonna pop into bed now. Good night, pal. Stretch. All right, creepy. Sleep well, my friend. I will see you next time. I was thinking about calling it myself. We've been streaming now for a while. That's about four hours. We had to restart stream a few times. 3.40. Well, this particular stream is 340, but we actually launched... Uh, this is the fourth time we're streaming tonight. We tried to launch Castlevania earlier and we're having some difficulties. So the first stream was like 23 minutes, then like 19 minutes, then 5 minutes. This has been the longest one. It seemed, everything seems to have stabilized. <sighs> But yes, I think what I will do after I finish stretching is I will um, go get some hydration, come back. Anyway, good night. Good night, creepy. See you again. Thank you for being here as always. Um, if someone feels free to drop me a note or a clue or a hint in chat. That would be awesome. And we may try continuing tonight. Otherwise, we might just call it tonight. And perhaps when I am of a more... Perhaps when I am of a more um, awake... All right, when I have a more awake mindset, um, I'll be able to solve it next Tuesday. That could be it. But give me a few moments. Ugh. I'll be right back. N nonsense? I say nonsense to your nonsense.
Okay, thank you for your patience. I have returned. All right. Ah, I am back. Let me flip up the camera here. There we are. Hello. And oh, creepy provided a clue. Have you ble have you beaten this creepy? I mean, I don't even know if you're still here. You said you were going to bed. But uh, I wonder if you have beaten this, or if you haven't beaten this, and it just let you dive into like a game facts, like message board, or a fact or something, and try to find me a clue. Creepy says the blue crystal has the ability to drain a waterlogged area in order for the player to pass through. That's a bit like Shadowgate. Actually, no, it's not. In Shadowgate, the blue crystal had the ability to freeze things, not absorb water. Um, it also has the same ability as the white crystal, which allows you to see invisible platforms. Hmm. Okay. So it sounds like the blue crystal is just like an upgraded version of the white crystal then. Haven't beaten it, but have played it. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Well, if it has the ability to drain a waterlogged area, in order for a player to pass through, that makes me think that it was that big area, that large pool of water that we saw with one platform on either side, but How do you drain the water? I mean, with the white crystal, as soon as we equipped it, we saw the platform. So I would assume if we enter an area that has a lot of water, and then we equip the blue crystal, that that would just immediately drain all the water. But that didn't happen. So either my hunch was correct, and it is some place with that large, like we do have to go back to that large pool of water that we saw before. But I just don't know how to use the blue crystal other than equipping it. Um, or we have to go someplace else that's waterlogged. And I feel like I've explored every area that I can explore in this game up to this point. And I don't recall there being any waterlogged areas. Except for that one, a large pool area. All right. I think I know what we'll do. So we're going to try to make our way, this is probably good timing now that it's shifting to nighttime again, back to town two. Um, we're gonna hit up the church, heal, and then we're gonna make our way to the large body of water area. And then um, from there, we're going to try to see if we can somehow use the blue crystal. Kirby says, go to Yuba Lake. I don't know where Yuba Lake is. Yeah, I don't know where Yuba Lake is. I have my towns written down here. So, you can see there. The starter town. That's a town where we started the game. Um trying to move my face, trying to get both in the frame. There, there we go. So we can go either left from the starter town and that will take us to the marsh. Oh, the marsh.
Delos Belasco Marsh. Oh, we had a clue. Where's the clue? The clue was Alara will protect you from the poison marsh. So there might be multiple marshes, but if there aren't, then we need something before we go through the marsh anyway. Um, it says east of Ajaiba Wood. Is where we were before. From the starter town, go through this again here. Trying to, there we go. If we went left, we go to, pardon my bad writing, um, Bellusson Marsh. Or we go right, we go to Jova Woods. Um, then once we go to town one, which is really town two, if we go left, we hit Veros Woods. If we go right, we hit La Dadi's Path. Town 2, if we go left, we hit Ajaiba Woods. Or right, we hit La Camilla Cemetery. So if we go left to Ajiba Woods, that means we're exiting to the left out of Town 2, heading towards Town 1. And... Between Ajiba Woods, I think, and Town 3 is where that big body of water is, that big pool. So I think that is where we're supposed to go. But I don't know how to empty the pool. I guess we'll have to figure it out. To drain the water hole down. It doesn't tell you that in the guide. Does it? Manual. Options menu, L2 button, select, pause, resume game, movement, enter building, go up, downstairs, crouch, move left, move right, jump controls, whip controls, talk to townspeople, multi-screen menu screen controls, use items that's it wait is this Castlevania 2 yes it is Castlevania 2 there are two Castlevania 2's there is Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest and Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge this is Simon's Quest. You played this on Nintendo, so it might be it might have changed. We'll give it a try. We will give it a try. Actually, hold on. Let me put my headset back on. The the full experience going here. Alright. You also might have played the other one? Okay. <clears throat> I could be wrong, but I think that Castlevania 2, um, Belmont's Revenge, is exclusive to the Game Boy. Or at least it was before the remaster. Alright. I actually think it's right here. I'm not going to reach it in time. I think this is where the body of water is. Nope. I 
Actually, it might be. It might. I think it is. Stay on the bottom. That way you don't have to worry about the eyes floating up to kill you. Not going that way. Unless we have to. Alright, we're back. Blue Orb is equipped. Kirby says, I don't know. I've damaged my brain a couple times since then. It makes me think it's this one. Like, a lot of water, blue orb. Holding down. That's ridiculous. That's ri There's nothing in the game that tells you to do that. Nothing. None of the NPCs said anything about that. The guy who gave me the orb didn't say anything about that. There's nothing in, at least, the digital game manual about that. How was I supposed to know to hold down to do that? That's messed up. I wonder if that was in the manual in the original, like, for the, like, the original NES manual. Like, some items you may want to hold down when you collect them for some special item. That's, that's so wrong. Thank you, Creepy. I never would have gotten that without you. Should be just hold down for a few seconds. That is so messed up. Kale says, there's a clue, you just didn't find it. Where's the clue at? Indeed. Oh, that was close. A new dungeon. Well, mansion, whatever. No, no. I wonder where the clue was. I spoke to all of the NPCs. I can't imagine where else the clue might be. There's the room. Well, that could be the room. I bet that is the room up there on the right. And once you get up there, you can just drop down faster that way.
Can that come up through the floor? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, I made it though. There you go. Back into that lovely fire. Oh! Looks like they're feeling frisky up there, with their purple selves. Ah! Oh! Tough skeleton. Oh boy. Why don't you fall down here? Come on. Oh, I thought he was gonna fall. Come on, you know you wanna fall. Come on, there you go. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna die one hit and I'm dead. There's no way I can survive this. I'll just take the L. Oh, but I start right here, though. That's awesome. I can't throw it. I can't throw the fire! Why can't I throw the fire? I can throw the dagger. I can throw the... the holy water. I can't throw the fire. You have no hearts? I need hearts to throw fire? Oh, that's cheating! Uh-oh. Oh, no. Are some of the floors here... ...walkable, but the holy water can destroy them? hell. So now that you've gotten used to using that technique to trying to discover like which floors are safe floors, it's taking that technique away from you. says, well, I'm going back to sleep. Enjoy the game. Watch out for false floors, breakable floors, <laughs> monsters, swamps, water, and puzzles. Okay, Kale, thanks. I think after this mansion, we're going to call it a night. But uh, thanks for popping in here. Thanks for keeping me company. 
This is fun. So we're going to be continuing um, with this next Tuesday. So I stream retro games every Tuesday, and we're not stopping until we beat this game. Uh, so it'll be Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, U.S. time. And uh, we'll end whenever we feel like we, we end. Whenever we want to end. Also clues, you can find clues in mansions. Um, okay. That's so dirty. Creepy redeemed hydrate, and he's off to bed. Very well. Thank you again, Creepy. Have a good night. So there was no reason to jump all the way through there. Oh boy. They are really good at, at dodging that holy water. Use up one heart every time I throw one. I guess I had just had so many hearts before that it didn't really like matter. That's why I wasn't noticing any difference. Oh, that's bad. It looks like there's someone standing up there. Maybe that's the, the merchant that I have to go to to buy my next, um, I guess my next steak. Which, I don't have 50 um, hearts to buy one. See how this goes. is laid out like Tetris. Oh my gosh, I did it again.
Oh. Oh, there's the room. I'm guessing that down there is maybe where the merchant is. Gotta find the merchant. I've got 65 hearts, I have enough now. See, now... I kinda wish... It's not too bad. Oh, yes, it is bad! Because I lost all my- oh, no, I didn't. It's whenever you lose your checkpoint, or whenever you die, like, all three lives, that's when you- that's when it messes up. Invest in an oak steak? Yes. I could just barely afford it. My gosh. No, no, no. Oh. That is some devious stuff where you use holy water in the first mansion to figure out which 
floors are false floors. And just when you sort of become comfortable with that, they sort of take that ability away from you. Because now your holy water can actually destroy floors. So the game sets up an expectation and then it smashes that expectation. Which is what Alan Wake does. That's one of the reasons I praised Alan Wake for being such a good horror game. I just realized something. Oh, that's gonna suck. At first I got happy because I realized that it seems like every time we get a piece of Dracula, we get stronger. Like we found his rib, we turn that into a shield. We're gonna find another piece of him right now that's probably gonna give us some other cool power up. But then I thought, once we reach the destroyed castle, uh, Dracula's destroyed castle, and we use his five body parts to revive him, what would that mean that we won't have all those power-ups anymore because the body pieces will, like, form Dracula? So that means as we play through the base game, we're getting stronger and stronger, but once we get to the point where we have to revive Dracula, we're gonna basically reset to, like, power level one. I mean, we're still gonna have, like, our, our experience levels and our, our expended health and damage resist, but we're not going to have any of these cool items anymore, like the shield. That's going to... Oh, boy. You now possess Dracula's heart. What does his heart do? I don't know. I can guess what it does. Let me let me see if I can I'm gonna guess that what Dracula's heart does is maybe every time you kill an enemy, they drop a heart instead of just sometimes. Let's test that. Why is it glowing? Oh, does it just reset? I guess so. I guess that's not what the heart does.
Uh oh. I don't know what's down there. I might fall into water and die instantly. I don't want to do that. I know what I do want to do, though. Wait, can I do it? I can. Okay. Alright. So Kale said that we can only hold... We can only hold one oak stake at a time. So we can't just rack up a whole bunch of them. But we can carry one spare and keep that on us so that when we get to the next mansion, if something happens and we don't find the, um, the merchant, that that will be okay. because we'll already have a stake on us. Hey, Wipeout's here! What's up, bro? Hey, Wipeout, how you doing? Playing through some Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Since two Tuesdays ago, we beat the original Castlevania. I'm probably getting ready to call it soon, though. You sleep well? Shout out to Wipeout Last Casting Project Zomboid. Looks like a pretty cool game. It's like The Sims. But... You're trying to survive a zombie apocalypse, and it's very realistic. <clears throat> you have to read books to study to learn how to do different things. You can tow or hotwire cars. Create a safe haven. Have you played uh, Castlevania 2, Wipeout? Well enough on your sleep. a lot you passed out hard earlier. I bet you did like, was it a 17 and a half hour stream?
Yep, this game is awesome. Oh, did you beat it? Best cover art ever. Yeah, I like this. I like the cover art more than uh, the first game. Really good music, too. I heard a lot of people don't like this one because it's so exploratory. It's not very linear like the first game was. But I mean, I like it. I think it's cool. All right, now that we're here... Does doing anything with Dracula's heart, or does having Dracula's heart do anything? It was 20 hours? Oh boy. Tell me that's not Arnold Schwarzenegger. It looks like him, back from the Conan days. You haven't beat it, but you got pretty far. Music's super good. Cool. <sighs> yeah, I read the intro. And the story sounds interesting. And at the end of Castlevania 1, the, uh, the hero, Simon Belmont, was cursed by Dracula with his dying breath. And in order to remove the curse, whatever the curse is, he has to go to five different cursed mansions find the five body parts of Dracula, then return to the ruined castle Dracula with the five body parts, and uh, resurrect Dracula, and then fight him all over again to beat him. And so far, I have two of the five body parts. I have a rib, which acts as a shield, and I just got his heart, but I don't know what his heart does. Probably the best music in the series. Hmm. Yep, Conan. Yes. Earlier, I got this blue crystal. And uh, I was trying to figure out what to do with it. I probably roamed around the game, like, back and forth for probably, like, I don't even know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. And uh, finally, Creepy told me that he had played some of this game. And he's like, oh, yeah, if you have the blue crystal, you go to a body of water and they just hold down. And then that, like, soaks up the water so you can progress through that area. And uh, I had no idea that that's what I was supposed to do. And then someone else was in here earlier... Um, Kale, and Kale was like, yeah, there is there is a clue in the game to tell you that, but you didn't find the clue. And I was like, well, where's the clue at? I talked to, like, every NPC in every town I came across, and I've read every road sign I'm able to read. But I guess there's, like, a clue somewhere that I missed? I don't know. Um, I think Creepy said that there can also be clues in the mansions themselves. So maybe there was a clue posted in the first mansion that I missed. Could be. Uh, but, uh... Oh, General Organa's here. Hello, General Organa. Welcome, welcome. But... Uh, once I found out that's what it did, we, can, we made some progress. Now, I don't know what the heart does... And I, I didn't find a clue on what the heart could do. Maybe we could return to town one and try using the heart to kneel in front of the lava to see if that makes the lava go away. I would think I need like a red orb to do that though, but maybe not. Maybe we always keep the blue orb from now on.
Let's go try it. Oh wait, this is town three? Yeah, town three. We ha we can only cross town three. on the bottom floor. Once we get to town one, I guess we'll heal up at the church. Seen the original Vampire Hunter D movie, right? I have. That was good. How, like, the cocky aristocratic vampires were like, oh, you're not worthy to blah, 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 to be a vampire or whatever. But they, like, worship Dracula and they didn't realize who Alucard was. And once they found out, they were, like, in awe. wanted to. This is not a bad place to farm hearts. I mean, it's unreliable, but not a bad place. That's still gonna hit me. Oh my gosh. I thought the spider was going to dip down further than that. Vampire Hunter D plays out like a Castlevania game in movie format. It's so good. It is good. I could watch that again. I was actually planning to start doing, uh... Oh! I'm getting... I'm getting sloppy. I was planning to start doing some, some movie afternoons. Not anything that I would stream, just on my own. I've missed a lot of films. That's Mansion 1, where we got the rib. Um, like I said, I saw Need for Speed today, and tomorrow I was thinking about checking out, uh, The Fast and the Furious, since I've never seen any of the movies all the way through. I found that you could rent all the movies from YouTube. I mean, it's kind of expensive. It's like $4 each, but eh. Oh! I always forget about that zombie, or that skeleton. Progressing through each room of the castle with traps and unique enemies. Mm-hmm.
the cool relics you use is like candle that freezes anyone with vampire blood. I don't remember that. That sounds cool though. Yes, we made it back to the first town. Now we just have to wait till dawn and we can heal up at the church. There it is. So you're going to be streaming tonight, Wipeout? Just waiting till morning. I could just stand in one spot. I discovered that time passes in this game whether or not I'm doing anything. But at least this way I can farm hearts. It'll be time soon. You will? Cool, cool. I will very likely be there. Did I see Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust? I don't think I did. There we go. The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. Alright, now we can go to the church. The second movie? No. I don't think I ever saw the second movie. I think I remember hearing about Bloodless, but I wasn't sure if it was like a, its own separate movie or if it was like a um, like a remake or a spinoff. You didn't like it at first, but it grew on you a lot over time. Hmm. All right, full heal. All right. Now let's try heading to the magma pool. Because I was dropping when that happened, and if he's dropping, you can't use the shield. No, 
I guess selecting the heart and holding down doesn't drain lava. Pretty darn good, we should watch. That sounds cool. VHD to find vampires for you. Vampire Hunter D? Hmm. I'm down. Well, Okay. As I said, I think we're going to go on ahead and stop here for the night. We made some good progress. We got two of Dracula's five pieces. Maybe we'll keep going in this manner. Maybe uh, next Tuesday we'll get pieces three and four. And then maybe the Tuesday after that we'll get the fifth piece and then try to find our way to Dracula's ruined castle and slay him once more. But, um, this is fun. You know, Dracula, not Dracula, Castlevania 1 was a very good game. Good challenge, good music, good level design, um, good graphics for its time. And, um, yeah. I really liked it. I mean, the last two levels were really hard. The last two, well, not, the last two levels weren't really hard. They were, they were a good challenge. The last two bosses were really hard. Um, I talked about those earlier, Death and Dracula himself. And I liked how they were difficult in different ways. Death was very calculating. Like, he, he had those sickles that he bounced around the screen and threw at you. Um, but you could destroy them and you could avoid them. And so if you if you had your strategy and your timing down, you could beat death and it wasn't that big a deal. It was always a big deal for me because I, I felt like I never really got that timing down. But um, yeah, that was a pretty cool boss fight. With Dracula, it was a bit different. You couldn't beat Dracula by pure strategy alone. It's almost like Dracula was more powerful than death. And so you needed strategy, but you still needed just a little bit of luck. Um, at least if you fight him, like, quote-unquote, legitimately. I mean, I know there are speedrunners out there who, like, can, uh, can finish him very quickly. But I didn't know any of those ways back then. 
Um, but yeah, very cool fight. Uh, with Castlevania 2, it's a little weird uh, in the sense that it doesn't seem like there are any bosses, and that could change. But it just seems like the challenge is, in a sense, it seems easier. Um, like in Castlevania 1, you couldn't heal. The only way you could heal is to beat the level. Um, in Castlevania 2, you can actually heal. You just have to go to a church and, uh, and heal that way. Now, it seems like so far there's only two churches in the game. Um, but the fact that you can go back and heal when you need to, that's pretty nice. Um, you can also level up, which is something that you couldn't really do in Castlevania 1, I don't think. I don't ever remember leveling up. Um, again, there's no real bosses in Castlevania 2, which is kind of weird. Um, you just have to go into the mansions, and uh, it appears find a stake and then break the orb that has one of his body parts, and then collect the body part. Um, I mean, that's fine. We all know that there's going to be a boss at the end of the game, because we're supposed to reassemble Dracula's body parts and then fight Dracula. But, uh, I mean, that, that feel, it feels like it's easier because of that. Like, for me, the hardest challenges in Castlevania 1 weren't the levels, they were the bosses. Specifically, the last two bosses. Um... So the fact that in Castlevania 2 there may be no bosses except for Dracula, like, to me that kind of makes the game almost a bit more fun. Um, and I really like the exploration. I like the fact that um, there's hidden things, like there's hidden merchants. Uh, I think it's cool that you have to go around collecting relics and then use those relics to open up different pathways. It feels a little like Legend of Zelda-ish. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way at all. Uh, this is turning out to be a, a very cool experience. And um, I'm wondering if the rest of the Castlevania series will continue to do this. I know that Castlevania 3 is not supposed to be as open-ended as Castlevania 2. I think they kind of return back to the Castlevania 1 template for Castlevania 3. But I am curious to see how the series continues to evolve. And uh, I do definitely want to play as many of the Castlevanias on this channel as I possibly can. Uh, I have quite a list actually building. Um, and I'm going to continue to add on to that list. Uh, but I'm curious to see what other improvements they throw at us as we continue to go through the different games. So let me load it up here, and I'll ramble off our Castlevania list. So we beat Castlevania 1 two Tuesdays ago. Uh, we're going to keep going on Castlevania 2 until we beat it. Then we'll be going through Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, Super Castlevania 4, Castlevania the Adventure, Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge, Castlevania Bloodlines, Kid Dracula, Castlevania Dracula X, Castlevania Rondo of Blood, Symphony of the Night, Circle of the Moon, Harmony of Dissonance, Aria of Sorrow, and then somewhere in there, though it's probably not going to be on Tuesdays, I would like to throw in there um, Lords of Shadow or Lord of Shadows. Is it Lords? I think it's Lords of Shadow. Um, just because that's not a retro game, so we're not going to have it on Tuesday. But we will eventually screen that probably for Franchise Fridays after we get through all of these older school Castlevania titles. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. My bud asks, is this the Konami Collection version? Yes. There's two Konami Collection versions. There's the Advanced Collection and the Anniversary Collection. The Anniversary Collection has the Castlevania games from the Game Boy Advance, which is why it's called the, the Advanced Collection. This is the Anniversary Collection. So I'll back up right now and show you what's on here. And I do believe this is also on PC. We saved, right?
Let's just make sure. Okay. So for the advan I mean, for the anniversary collection, we have the original Castlevania, Simon's Quest, Dracula's Curse, Super Castlevania 4, which I've heard from many people is perhaps well this it seems to be a tie between the best Castlevania of all time being either Super Castlevania 4 or Symphony of the Night. Depends on who you talk to. Um, the Adventure which is like the, a Game Boy game. Uh, Belmont's Revenge, also a Game Boy game. And then you have Bloodlines, and also the New Generation. Um, what's kind of cool about this is they do also include the Japanese version of these games, so if you want to play those, you can. Uh, Kid Dracula, which looks pretty cute. I think that's going to be fun. And then you have like a bonus book, and then you have like the bonus Japanese version. So it also includes those other titles, the Japanese version of Castlevania, Castlevania 3, Super Castlevania 4, The Adventure. So if you want to play through the Japanese versions, you can. Uh, the bonus book is pretty cool. has a box art gallery, um, some interviews, some research stuff. So it's a pretty cool collection. If you want to play through Castlevania, you can. Uh, another cool thing is that the game does have unlimited continues, which is very nice. So if you go in, you're fighting a boss, you're going through a level and you just keep dying, you don't have to worry about the game getting reset back to level 1 after so many deaths. It just restarts you right there at the, uh, the level that you died at. So that makes uh, playing through it a lot easier. Right, but asks, wasn't Kid Dracula a Game Boy game? I don't know. I don't think so. I know Adventure and Belmont Revenge are. I feel I think Kid Dracula was uh, never released outside of Japan. Kid Dracula 2019 originally released for the family computer in Japan only as Akumajo Dracula Boku Dracula Kun in 1990. Kid Dracula has been for the first time localized in English for this occasion. One day Kid Dracula arises from 10,000 years of slumber. A can of tomato juice in his hand, Kid Dracula was enjoying TV for the first in 10,000 years, when out of the blue, one of his servant bats suddenly bites his head. What the fang is going on? What are you doing to me? Don't you know that I am the king of this world, Kid Dracula? Hurrah for Garamoth, screamed the bat. The bat then fainted, leaving Kid Dracula in complete confusion. And then, boom! A scary demon appeared. This sounds like a cute story. Okay, so it was NES. It looks that way. Ah, but in time, in time, in time. And we are also putting in or sliding in a game between each of the installments in the Castlevania franchise. So actually, once we beat Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest, we're going to play Fez which is a platformer from the Polytron Corporation. And uh, then we'll be back for Castlevania III, Dracula's Curse. But um, yeah, we're going to call it here for the night. It has been fun. Thank you all for showing up. Um, for those newly here, uh, I am Lord Orpheu. I stream seven days a week. Uh, from 8 o'clock at night to at least 11 o'clock at night, U.S. Eastern Time. Uh, and I stream a little something different every day of the week. So I know that not every game or every genre of game is for every person. So Mondays I typically do indie games. Right now we're going through Firewatch. Uh, Tuesdays I do retro games. So if you like retro games, specifically Castlevania, drop me a follow. Come back next Tuesday. We'll play through some more Simon's Quest together. Wednesday, I have a weekly Just Chatting stream going through community updates and gaming news and game releases for the week. Uh, Thursday, I do role-playing games. Right now, we're still trying to make our way through Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. Uh, Fridays are typically AAA games. Uh, this Friday, we're probably going to try to finish up our way through um, DLC 2 of Borderlands 2. Uh, Saturday is Horror Games. Uh, we're going to be working on Act 1, Scene 3, from Alan Wake's American Nightmare. 
And Sunday is dedicated to racing games, and we have multiplayer on Sundays as well. And the racing game we're playing is the 2015 reboot of Need for Speed. Note that it is on the PlayStation 4. So unfortunately the game does not have crossplay, so if you have it on a different platform, I won't you won't be able to join me. Um, but if you do and you have PlayStation Plus, you're more than welcome to join or run some races together. <laughs> so Misplaced is night night. Good night, misplaced. Sleep well. Thanks for being here. Orpheus is or what was his Orpheus best streamer said now. All right, everyone. I'm gonna see who else is gonna stream right now. Are you gonna stream right now, Wipeout? If so, I'll just throw you a raid. You are? Okay, cool. We'll go ahead and uh, start your stream, and I'll go ahead and... Uh... Oh, you already started your stream. That was quick. Alright. So we're going to raid Wipeout. As I was saying earlier, Wipeout is a variety streamer. Um, he's been streaming Project Zomboid, which is kind of like The Sims, only you're in a zombie apocalypse trying to survive. He's also streamed Mech Warrior Online, so if you like that game or if you like mechs in general, you might want to check him out. He's also really good at shoot 'em ups or shmups. I call him shoot 'em ups. I just can't bring myself to call him shmups. Um, he also does that genre. He's quite good at them. Uh, and racing games, he's also quite good at. That's actually why he's called Wipeout because Wipeout is his favorite racing franchise. But um. Yeah, right now it looks like he's streaming some Assetto Corsa on the PC. And I know he also does... Ooh. I know he also does do multiplayer with people, so if you want to hop in with some Mech War online, or you want to hop in with some uh, Assetto Corsa, he'll be happy to race with you. And it looks like he said he's going to do some driving, then he's going to do FF3. He has been playing through the Final Fantasy series as well. He beat Final Fantasies 1 and 2 on stream. Uh, and he said he's close to beating FF3, so I'll definitely be there for both of those streams, unless I fall asleep. I'm not that tired. So, let's go ahead and set the raid. And then I will make closing announcements. Okay, here we are. Closing announcements. So, if you like retro games, specifically if you like Castlevania, then again, do feel free to drop me a follow. We'll be back next Tuesday at 8 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time uh, for more Castlevania to Simon's Quest. Uh, the next time I'll be streaming in general will be Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern uh, with our weekly just chatting stream, community chat, and gaming news. Uh, we do a community call out each week. We go through community updates. We'll be going through uh, gaming news. And we'll be going through the uh, game releases for the week. So if you want to hang out on uh, Wednesdays and just talk about video games in general, that's cool. It's one of my favorite stream days. I just like to, uh, to talk about gaming in general or specific titles. I'm very passionate about gaming all the way around. So just a cool time to hang out, chill, and just dive deep into our favorite hobby. Uh, so, perhaps I'll see you all again next Tuesday night, or Wednesday night, or in the next few moments in the stream of Wipeout with some Assetto Corsa, and then Final Fantasy 3. So, have a good night, everyone. I hope to see you again soon. Sleep well, or I'll see you in stream.